Hey everyone, let's talk about irrational exponents. Let's say we are asked to find the quotient of the square root of 8 raised to square root of 2 over the square root of 2 raised to square root of 8. Notice here that our exponent is the square root of 2, which is an irrational number, and the other exponent is the square root of 8, which is also an irrational exponent. Now, since exponent is defined for real numbers, then the exponent could be an integer, it could be a fraction, or it could be an irrational number. Therefore, raising to an irrational exponent is a valid mathematical operation. So, what is the value of this expression containing irrational exponents. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this math problem. Now, let's solve this problem together. When you have this square root symbol, our goal is always to find if there is a perfect square under the radicand. In this case, we know that 8 can be written as 4 times 2 and 4 is a perfect square. So, write 8 as 4 times 2. The same thing here, express that as 4 times 2. Then, take the square root of 4, which is 2, and then this other factor, 2, would still remain under the radical. So we have 2 squared of 2 for the simplified form of this part. The same thing here. You have the square root of 4 times 2. The square root of 4 is 2. And we copy square root of 2. Then we are going to apply some laws of exponents. Let's recall the power of a product and the power of a power. Notice that the form of our numerator is similar to the first rule here, and the form of our denominator is the converse of this second rule. So we have here two factors, a times b. In our case, our a is 2, and our b is square root of 2, and our exponent n is square root of 2. So applying this power of a product, we can now rewrite the numerator this way. The first factor raised to the common exponent times the second factor raised to the same exponent. For the denominator, we have the form like this, which we are going to turn into this left side. So we have n times m, that is 2 times square root of 2. Then we would like to write that in this form, so we arrive at our base is square root of 2. Then our first exponent here is 2. All of them raised to the second exponent m, which is square root of 2. Now, why are we doing this? Notice that the square root of 2 squared is 2 because the square root and the exponent 2 will cancel each other out. So we now have 2 as the base here, and we just copy the square root of 2. All the rest are just copied. Now the effect of this is we will have a common factor in the numerator and in the denominator, which we can cancel out. This grouping symbol here does not matter because there's only one term here. So simplifying further, we now arrive at square root of 2 raised to square root of 2. If we can rewrite this so that we can do away with radicals, that's much better. So let's continue simplifying this. What are we going to do now? Notice that the base here is the square root of 2 and the exponent is also the square root of 2. So let's use a grouping symbol to make it clear. Then when you have the square root of 2, it's implied that the index here must be 2. Then let's recall some properties of radicals. When you have a form like this, a base raised to m, where the base is the nth root of a, this is just the same as rewriting this radical into fractional exponent all raised to the outside exponent. It's implied that the numerator is 1 and the denominator is n. The same thing here, it's implied that the numerator is 1 and our denominator is 2, so we can write this in fractional exponent similar in form to this. So implementing that, this base now is just 2 raised to 1 half, and 1 half times square root of 2 is square root of 2 over 2. Now this form can already be the acceptable answer to this problem, or we can continue simplifying this further by performing the reverse operation of rationalizing the denominator. This time we are going to make the denominator irrational again. And we can do that by multiplying by 1. Square root of 2 over square root of 2 is simply 1, but this will change the form of square root of 2 over 2. Multiplying these two fractions, the result now is square root of 2 times square root of 2 in the numerator becomes square root of 4, which is 2, and 2 times square root of 2 is copied in the denominator. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and we copy square root of 2. That means we can also write this as 2 raised to 1 over square root of 2, and the beauty of this is we can rewrite this back into 
radical form, which is now the simplified form of this given expression. So either this answer or this answer could be our final answer for the simplified form of this expression with irrational exponents. And so for our final answer, the value of this expression is approximately 1.6325. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye!